Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate video and another episode of Mix Set Monday. If you guys missed last week's episode, I showed off Brett's Laku Laku template set which can be tailored to suit Charge Blade, Hammer, Longsword or Greatsword. And more importantly, it looks awesome and has Lagiacris pots. So definitely check that out if you use one of those four weapons. But in today's episode, we're going to be looking at the Skull Kuna Kuna set designed by Rotato Head. Now this is another versatile set that can be used by a wide range of weapons, and one of the main reasons I chose it is because one of those weapons is Lance. And as you guys know, I've recently got into Evade Lancing, and I know some other people were after an Evade Lance set. It's incredibly easy to get Evasion plus 3, Sharpness plus 1, and Evade Extender with this set, and if you're using this for something other than Lance, and Focus is something you can benefit from, then Focus is also really easy to get. This set is comprised of the Skull Visage Helm, the Kashala X Chest and Waist, and the Naga Kuga arms and legs. Although, if it's focus you're after, then you want to throw on the Kashala X legs instead. Now yes, I know a lot of you will say that this could already be improved if you swapped the Skull of Visage Helm with the Black Belt Helm, as they both have torso up, and in turn do the same thing. But this is the set as designed by Rotato Head, and to be honest, I prefer the look of the Skull of Visage anyway. Now if we look at the skills, you can see that already, without a single decoration, we have Evasion plus 2, simply for turning up. And with a simple plus 4 handicraft talisman, I also have sharpness plus 1. But if we then look at the skill table, you can see there are quite a few other options. Heat resistance is obviously right up there at 8, but that's not something I'd really go for, so moving down you have sense at 5, which could be easily gemmed in if you wanted sneak to reduce the likelihood of you being targeted by monsters. Next up you have evade distance at 4, which could quite easily be gemmed in to give you evade extender to increase your evade distance. And while I have added this on this set for demonstration purposes, I know that some Lance users prefer not to use this skill simply because it can put you a little too far away from the monster when you backhop. And finally, while it's only on 2, it is also definitely possible to grab weakness exploit by throwing another 8 into Tenderizer. So if we now look at this as a fully decorated set, you'll see I've tailored this for evade lancing. We have evasion plus 3, sharpness plus 1, weakness exploit, and evade extender. And those are some pretty good skills, and most importantly, it looks good. Now if you do want to look at this set in detail, I've also left a link to Rotato Head's original post in the description box down below, so you can check it out and also see what other weapons can benefit from this set. But that, my friends, is pretty much it. This is the Skull Kuna Kuna set, tailored for evade lancing, and that is it for this video. Thanks again to Rotato Head for the set, and if you guys do want me to feature one of your sets in next week's episode, then drop the details in the comments down below, and be sure to include everything needed to build the set. If you guys did enjoy the video, then a like would be massively appreciated, and let me know if you guys have started using this set. Thanks again for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.